All right, so I'm going to walk you guys through some of the mods I made to the DOF steering hoop on my little rig here. Uh, really, all of it. So I'm still having to counterweight this bad boy back here in the corner. Of course, there I got my little butt kicker on there for the deep shakes. And uh, I'm hoping I'm getting a new seat. I'm going to try and offset that to the right a little bit or move the weight somehow. I really don't like those being there, but it is what it is. I put it up on a on the boards, which helps me slide it around when I need to. And then this mod is a little jerry rig, but basically I got that steel rebar that goes underneath there, and then I ran a support up to the mount for the shifter. You can see how that bolts in. And that, of course, makes this really rigid so it doesn't wiggle back and forth for my handbrake and all that. It's kind of right off the wheel. So if you see how that ties in, it creates that sort of triangle. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, down here, I used to have these angled a little bit, hence the longer bolt, but I did cut it off to kind of the right height so of course it doesn't bang into the bottom of the deal. You can see my the two by fours I put on the pedals to kind of lift it up. I wish I had painted them, but there's always time. And then you can see the butt kicker that I put underneath my pedals to help that whole thing, little tactile action. I like those on the on the pedals, those I don't know what they call those toe grabs. I don't really care about the clutch, but for those two it really has a good feel to it. And here you can see how that ties in again. Right there. Let me see back. <laughs> there it is right there. All right? So we get up to this bad boy. There's all kinds of shit going on here. So you got obviously the plate that comes from DOF. And I, you know, because the bolt heads stick up there a little bit, I had to wallow out the plate to get those bolt heads as low as possible. Then I just added a couple spacers and shaved them at an angle. Those are from a TV mount. And then this plate under here, metal plate. I drilled four holes in that. I don't know if you can see it. Call it the plate of truth. So that keeps everything, you know, somewhat together. Probably if I had more time, I'd have done two plates, one on the top, one on the bottom. But it's all about not getting too high and still having the proper angle for me kind of like go-kart you know where, where it's angled fairly steep and you can really pull on the wheel not turn it so much as pull it but you can kind of see how that worked out under there that's about it those are all my fancy mods of course running these guys at like two if anything this thing is balanced you know you just move those bolts I had to move them back to the farthest setting for me so I guess I'm kind of a light guy and everything is very forward. But now when the seat's in position, it's just absolutely freaking perfect. Probably could move those monitors a little closer and down now that I got everything where it goes. But I won't mess with that until I get the new seat. I'm tired of jacking with it. So these, of course, I still need my fourth bolts back there for those. I had to wallow those plates out too to fit. And then, of course, you just adjust the tension of, of these you can wiggle them around a little bit and a little bit of black electric tape in between the monitors comes unstuck but it keeps the light from peeking through there that's all my hacks